So the start of our story, um, I guess it begins with the shock of our lives, um, discovering that Hope's heartbeat had stopped when I was 24 and a half weeks pregnant uh, in July 2018. Um, and yeah, we had a two day wait, waiting for her to, uh, for her to be stillborn and, and came up with her name during that time, which I think sort of signified, you know, we were completely devastated and shocked, but generally we're quite positive people and we had hope for the future as well. So that's where her name came from, I think. We were given uh, lots of leaflets about SAMS. Um, they've got support for um, all different um, kind of parts of your, your network that you could imagine. And um, one of those was a support group, particularly for women uh, who wanted to become pregnant again and were trying again or who had tried again successfully. So um, that was a kind of natural thing for me just to go along to and, and talk with women who had been through the same experience because it's really hard mm. to, to find people that really understand um, you know, exactly what you're going through. And there was a couple's option as well, wasn't there? But I, I felt like for me personally, I didn't know what I needed at the time, really. It was just yeah. like, yeah, I didn't know whether I was comfortable sitting in a room full of strangers telling our story mm. and then whether that would benefit me. And then yeah. Lizard and I probably would have benefited me at the time, to be honest. Mm. But, but I think I we just, felt it was going to be quite intense, and yeah. especially being together. I guess we're both trying to manage our grief. And then if we were trying to do that together in a room, mm. that would have been, you know, you feel very vulnerable. So I thought there probably aren't that many options for, for men really and kind of left it at that and kind of got on with my 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 life and you know it, what you know what we to pick up the pieces after that you know trauma essentially. So but then randomly saw Sands United, Northampton and the, the likes of Bobby Allen on, on TV. Um obviously in in doing the same thing that um, you know, we're, we're doing now, but it just really lighted the spark saying, if I feel, if I'm relatively okay, then, and there's going to be thousands of people who are, are, are not okay at this moment in time and haven't got the outlet. And obviously I wanted, I probably needed the outlet at the time, but I didn't really know that I did. You know, football is a, is a positive experience. I wanted to share that with people going through um, the same thing, either now or in the future. And and yeah, here we are. Hey, my name's Andy. Um, I've been with Sands United London since the start. My name's Jamie. Uh, I lost a, a daughter Bethany three years ago now today. I've been in there from the start, at least the start of when Johan kind of took the idea and did something official with it. I'm Jesse Smith, um, striker for Sands United London. I joined the team in June. I'm a casual footballer. I've always, always liked playing football, but I've found it hard to like find something to kind of keep me committed. So, um, you know, Sands is the perfect opportunity because you know my connection to Sands is I lost my son, uh, my first son in, in 2018. He was stillborn. Um, obviously, completely devastated experience. Um, took me. I don't know, probably probably three months before I was even able to sort of function like in a way that I, I used to before. And that was around the time that I first heard from, from Johan about, about Sands United. I think the first time we just, it was 10 of us in a pub just chatting about our experiences. And from that, we've kind of grown, um, you know, to a group now that's like over 50 people. One thing that surprised me, this team, a lot of young, young men. So I'm 40 now and it's just like, Fair enough as it is, but a lot of young, young, young dads, but people that haven't lost a, a child, it's, it's hard for them to understand. So when we when we get together like this, it's just obviously we love to win, we love to win, but it's more than getting together and helping support, and there's just a lot more dads out there that need it. 
very difficult to talk about certain things, um, in particular my daughter who passed away. Sometimes it's hard to put into words how it feels. Um, just being part of the team, you know, you just feel comfortable in front of other dads who have been through the same thing. You know that you're not alone. You can say anything you want, you can talk to them about anything you like. And um, yeah, they make you feel really comfortable. It's a real, real safe environment to talk about your feelings. And um, yeah, anyone else who's, who's in the same situation or been through the same thing, who's thinking about joining the team, couldn't recommend it highly enough. My role as a co-manager within the Sands United London group firstly is to ensure that everyone understands their position within the team, i.e. we're here to provide support in whichever way they deem necessary. And support is subjective, right, on an individual case-by-case -case basis. We have some people in the group that have never played football for before, we have some people just who are there just to read the message and help them get through the day. Amongst our support network within the Sands United London, we have three WhatsApp groups. A match day WhatsApp group, which is all training and match day related a banter WhatsApp group which allows people to drop in a joke or two and a support group for a safe place, safe space for the new dads who have joined us who are able to share their experiences and to receive the many kind gestures and words from the other dads within the group. We come together on a bi-weekly basis and play other charity football matches. We tend to play a lot of charity football matches against other community teams and other teams that sort of align with our ethos, values and principles. We're not in a league, nor do we play competitive football, and we have no intention of joining a league solely due to the fact that we won't be able to take this as far as possible and help the many men, fathers out there who have suffered the loss of a child. Hello! Hello, mate. How's it going, man? Fine, thank Good you. Good to see you, mate. Likewise. Good to see you. Good to see you. Come in. Come in. Thank you very much, mate. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in, come on. Hello. Leo and Dylan, which one's which, I wonder? Come in, come see them. That one's Dylan and I'm Leo. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Nice football, Sands United London, bespoke football. Yeah. What's, what do you think would be the best sort of strategy to go about ensuring that um, everyone gets remembered and honoured correctly? Yeah, it's a good point. I think I'm gonna like I've already spoken to um, one of them and I'll speak to the others as soon as we can. But you know, you never know how you feel on these days, right? I mean, we've both been through it. And you never know where where you want to be actively involved, or you know, or just let the day happen, right? Do you know what I mean? So, so I'm thinking, you know, hopefully they can give some quite kind of like talk beforehand, because I know that means a lot to everyone. You guys know what we're all about. Like, first of all, let's introduce like the kind of captains for today, and they've all wanted to say a little something to us, just remind us of why we're here. So let's do that. Corpse, over to you, mate. Boys, um, nothing that hasn't been said before, I, I thank you all for being here, basically, and what's, what is, obviously, we say it all the time, is crap circumstances, but if anything good can come out of it, then, then take it with both hands. Um, all I'd say is there's no pressure. I came into it the first few games wanting to win, 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 and it's not why we're here. So regardless of what goes on out there, whether you mess up, whether we concede, whether we concede again and again and again. It's about moments in games for me. And if one of us can get a goal, one of us does something great, that's what it's about. That's, I'll come off and remember those things. So, go out there and have fun. That's what it is. The only thing I can say about my son really is like the most calm little baby ever. And like, I think that's like my first two, two or three games. I took that into like those games and they were the funnest and it was just to be calm and enjoy it because like, we've all got babies that can't be here today and um, I think we've just got to enjoy these kind of moments with guys that we can feel comfortable with and trust and like yeah just miss him every day and like really proud to be here and like thanks to you for what you're doing like each and every single one of you helped me through some real tough times in the past six months and um, yeah, hopefully this football team goes no, nowhere soon. 
hopefully we can continue and build on what we've got. Um, yeah, so thanks to everyone. Thanks to Jack and for all the hard work you put in. You help us so, so much. You help me so, so much as well. So um, let's go out and enjoy it today. It's not about the result. Let's just have fun, like Corb said. But um, hope we can put in a good fight today and a good performance. It'll be a good day. Well done, but remember, this is not a Sands team yet, so everyone on that pitch has been affected by baby loss in some way, right? So just remember that. Let's play with respect, let's respect them, and let's have a memorable occasion. Yeah? Yep. All right, let's go. Let's go. Should we finally get the first? Where, where do you put it? Man on! Man on! Man on! Man on! Man on! Man Takes him. Hey, 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 somebody help him out back here. Hey! Oh, I saw how good it is. I've got my fair share of his phone. It's probably done. Bring it in, Sam. I'm off that. I'm off this. Well done, Sam. Boys, to the London team, thank you very much. This is the Ken Lads, thank you guys. Are we on? We're on. I was just basically sent from the hospital on my way, no aftercare, nothing. And then it took me a couple of months to make the call to Sands. And uh, since then, I've had support from other team members, Johan, Sharif. You know, I've been in some dark places and there's always a, a person there to, um, you know, that you can call on, give you advice, get you through them dark days. <laughs> so this game is in memory of their son. So if you kindly show our respects and pay a minute silence whilst we commemorate and remember the life of Billy. So on the count of five, if you could all kindly pay our respects and observe a minute silence. Mate, captain today, man of the match, hat trick hero, mate, all for you. Well done. 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 Well done.
results don't really matter, but that is our first win, really. So, um, yeah, I mean, the guy, I think the guys are in shock, to be honest, about winning a game. But uh, it ended 5-1. Guys are happy. And, yeah, let's you know, continue enjoying it. Being part of Sounds United now as a family, it gives us a great opportunity to talk about um, yeah, talk about our daughter in a positive way. Uh, and no matter if I stop doing it tomorrow, like it all, this team will always be set up because yeah. of her.